Washington Bureau Chief Susan Page. How'd the president do? You know, he had some humor. He had some some great lines. He had a very emotional close with his tribute to Corey Rimsburg, the Army Ranger who was injured so grievously after 10 tours of duty in so Afghanistan. So we really ended on an emotional so ended, high point. Yeah, and a very extended uh, uh, standing ovation for Corey Rimsburg through the whole crowd. But what struck you, if you look at the substance of the speech, a much less ambitious agenda for 2014 than President Obama has had during his previous years in office, it really reflects a political reality that he got very little through Congress in mm -hmm. 2013, and the prospects are really no better in 2014. Well, as you pointed out, he had a lousy 2013, and I was really struck by his language of America does not stand still and neither will I. He really, he, he delivered a threat that he wants to move forward with or without the cooperation of Congress. And he says that where he can use executive action, he mm -hmm. will do so. But, you know, the reality is there are limits to what you can do by executive action. For instance, he announced that by executive order, he's raising the minimum wage for new federal contract employees. Mm -hmm. Now, over some time, that will affect a few hundred thousand people. Right. But the proposal to raise the minimum wage in Congress for everybody, which is stalled and going nowhere, mm -hmm. would raise the minimum wage for millions of Americans. So he can take some steps to executive action, but it... In, generally does not come close to what you can do by passing legislation through Congress. He seemed very relaxed and really savored the moment because that was obviously a very popular element to bring out. Give America a raise. Let's give America a raise. <laughs> Which is a great line because who doesn't want a raise? Of course. It's um, a pretty popular. <laughs> he, you know, I, he spoke more quickly than he sometimes does. Sometimes he can seem kind of ponderous and deliberate very in these deliberate. big speeches. Um, there was really more humor than usual in the speech. For instance, the one line I liked, liked he gave this full-throated defense of the Affordable Care Act, which he doesn't often do, and then he said people should call their mothers and help them sign up because she'll be glad to hear from you. Yeah. That was a great line. Um, we did expect him to address economic inequality. Anything strike you? And yes, he, and he did, and you know, we looked, we did a word count of words that we used over and over again in the speech. Twelve times he said the word opportunity. Mm -hmm. Clearly a theme, uh, and he talked about the long process over several decades that has led to this widening gap between the rich people in the United States and everybody else and acknowledge that it's going to take a lot of time to try to address that. But clearly that was one of the major themes that he wanted to strike tonight. And one of the things that caught me off guard was sort of, it was a sweet nod to the Speaker of the House. <laughs> very, very nice. He said it, America is a place where the son of a barkeep can become Speaker of the House. And you saw... And the son of a single mom and the becomes son, right. president. Yes. And, and you know what? That's true. Like the tribute to Corey Rimsburg at the end, I think that's something that Americans like about the country, respect. It's one of the things that draws it together, even at a time when we're so divided. And finally, we're all going to want to see what you write tomorrow morning. Can you give us a peek of your analysis for USA Today? You know, I talk about how different the substance of the speech is from the one just 12 months ago. 12 months ago, President Obama had just been reelected with right. a majority of the popular vote. He felt like he could get tax reform through, entitlement reform, and big immigration bill. None of those things happened. This time he's talking in very different ways about these issues. Washington Bureau Chief Susan Page, thank you so much for being with us. My pleasure.